just smack the shit out of it. Frame Data is brought to you by Ice Packs. Recover from your painful slap in the face with some comfortable sweatpants from TurndownForWalt.com or give it to me on Patreon and I'll personally slap you myself. How's it going ladies and gentlemen, Will Smith's backhand here. In this episode of Frame Data, we're going to take a look at King Richard, Gemini Man, Hitch, Hancock, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, or whatever else you may know him by, Will Smith. Whether he's getting down in the wild, wild west or saving the world in I Am Legend, Will knows to always keep your pimp hands strong, and his performance at the Oscars this year was not one that will be easily erased with the Neuralizer. We're going to break down the slap heard round the world, the insane aftermath that followed, and examine just how hard Chris got rocked. Uh, what can I say? Will said so- Kids? I know everybody's taking steroids, and I know they taste good, but just say no. Let's check it out. It's March 27th, 2022 over in the Dolby Theater at Ovation Hollywood, and the 94th Academy Awards, popularly known as the Oscars, are in full swing. The Oscars are awards for famous people to celebrate how famous they are, and sometimes artistic and technical merit in the film industry too, but they're regarded by many as the most prestigious and significant award for famous people to celebrate how famous they are in the entertainment industry, so it's no surprise that a fight is surely brewing at this year's. While presenting the award for Best Documentary, Chris Rock joked about Jada Pinkin Smith with a G.I. Jane reference. Will Smith open mouth belly laughs because he finds the joke hilarious, then immediately 180s as he sees Jada, who had been open about her experience with alopecia, roll her eyes in pure, unadulterated disgust. As is tradition, Will's only course of action is to engage in hand-to-face combat, which we'll see shortly, but what makes this a bit more interesting is that this wasn't even the first time Rock had joked about Jada on the big stage. As the Academy Awards host in 2016, Chris Rock cracked jokes about Jada skipping the ceremony, also mentioning that Jada was mad her husband wasn't nominated that year for his role in Concussion. I get it. You get mad. She said, it's, it's not fair that Will was this good and didn't get nominated. Yeah, you're right. It's also not fair that Will was paid $20 million for Wild Wild West, okay? This is funny because Wild Wild West was a bad movie. This interaction is also relevant because 2022 had since tightened up on presenters' monologues, especially so for comedians. As the presenter of this award, Chris has clearly overstepped his bounds with his egregious joke, and Will Smith now legally has the right to assault him. He's gonna take his shot right here, and it's a big one. Let's watch. Uh oh Richard! <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Will Smith's slap is a long action. If we count the number of frames from the moment the camera cuts to Smith walking into position and completing the slap, it takes 100 frames to complete the follow through. And with the reference upload at 25 frames per second, that totals four seconds. Because production didn't immediately cut when this happened and chose to make this as awkwardly entertaining as possible, we see a camera change at 134 frames just over five seconds into the interaction. And after 243 frames or 9.72 seconds, Will completely exits the shot. The last time Will Smith got into one little fight, he had to move to Bel Air. Smith strikes with an open hand because paper covers rock, but what's honestly even more impressive about this is how easily Chris eats this hit. Looking at raw head-to-head -head stats, Chris Rock seems beat from the start, outmatched in height, range, net worth, and overall frame data. Chris does edge Will out in weight though, and since this slap is intended as a surprise attack, he may be able to brace himself for the hit a little bit better. According to very reliable sources on celebrity physiques, Will Smith is approximately 6 foot 2 and 154.32 pounds or 70 kilograms. With Chris Rock coming in at about 5 foot 10, this puts him at roughly Will Smith's shoulder, meaning we can assume our slap angle is about 0 degrees. We're also assuming our slapper's wingspan is approximately the same as their height, which is a seemingly true body ratio for most people. At 6 foot 2, we'll call the slap distance half that, so 37 inches or 0.9398 meters. To calculate the velocity of the slap, we'll use Will's arm span of 0.9 meters as the change in distance and divide that by the travel time it took to impact Chris Rock's face. This of course isn't an entirely true model of striking distance since the arm is swinging along an arc with non-uniform acceleration rather than a hand being shot out of a cannon linearly, but we'll roll with it to simplify our calculations a bit. By counting the frames in the YouTube video beginning at this moment as Will's slap starts up, we can see it takes about 3 frames or 0.12 seconds for Will's hand to go from zero distance to contact. This gives us an average velocity of 7.83 meters per second. We can use this velocity measurement to determine the kinetic energy delivered by Will's slap, which is calculated from this equation. To estimate the mass of Will's arm and hand in isolation from the rest of his body, we can use the mean segment weight of an average male arm and take that as a percentage of the subject's total body weight. 
According to this chart, a male arm constitutes about 5.7% of their total body weight. With Will Smith weighing in around 70 kilograms, that maths out to 3.99 kilograms of his weight coming from his arms. Divide this by two to consider only a single arm and we're left with 1.995 kilograms per arm. Now returning to our kinetic energy calculation, we can find that Will Slap carried approximately 61.156 joules of energy on its way to Chris Rock's face. To calculate the force Chris experienced on his face, we can use this equation, but we first need to find the acceleration, or in this case deceleration, in which Chris's face brings Will's hand to zero. This is expressed as a change in velocity over change in time. Time in this case being the time in which Will Smith's hand remains in contact with Chris Rock's face if you assume momentum goes to zero as a result of only Chris's face slowing down Will's hand. Again, by counting frames, we find Will asked what the five fingers said to the face for a mere two frames, or 0.08 seconds. With this change in time, our acceleration measurement is 97.875 meters per second squared, and going back to our equation for force, we can fill these variables to result in a received force of 195.271 newtons taken directly to Chris's sculpted cheekbones. It apparently takes about 5400 newtons of force to completely crush a man's skull, so this slap is almost there. Maybe Judd Apatow was onto something after all. Lastly, we can calculate the impulse or the change in momentum, again assuming a zero final as the slap concludes, by multiplying force and time together, which leaves us with a final readout of 15.622 newton seconds. After giving Chris Rock the royal gloveless slap, he returned to his seat and said, quote, keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth. Twice. Excellent option select by Smith here, but to be honest, a lot of respect to Rock for taking that like an absolute champ and handling the situation about as perfectly as one slapped could handle it. Thankfully, the Oscars organizers only got kinda mad at Will Smith for slapping someone without formally initiating a duel first and gave him a highly prestigious award as his punishment. Suffice it to say, I also find it completely hilarious that production chose to do literally nothing in this situation and allowed Chris Rock to continue on stage as if nothing happened. <laughs> I can, oh, okay. Will Smith has only won one Oscar in the Best Actor category for his performance as Richard Williams in the 2021 film King Richard. He was actually nominated for Best Actor twice prior to the 94th Academy Awards. His performances in 2002's Ali as Muhammad Ali and 2007's The Pursuit of Slappiness as Chris Gardner were recognized by the Academy, but he ultimately lost out to Adrian Brody and Forrest Whitaker respectively for their work in The Pianist and The Last King of Scotland. It's safe to say both of these nominations prepared him pretty aptly for the 94th though. Some people have taken to social media to question if the slap was scripted or not, and I can definitively say by the numbers that it's not. I think what better indicates how real this slap was, though, comes from Will's best slap Oscar speech where he says, quote, Richard Williams was a fierce defender of his family, and love makes you do crazy things. And now it all makes sense. There's only one person named Oscar who has won an Oscar, and that was lyricist Oscar Hammerstein II for best original song in 1942. It's now completely obvious that Will Smith won the Academy Award because he voiced the lovable Oscar in the 2004 animated classic Shark Tale, making himself the second ever Oscar to win an Oscar, but 80 years later. <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! Thanks for watching. Three, two, one, go! Game! Ah, oh, it's rewind time. You know, if I control rewind, I would want Fortnite. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, Walt here. Shout out to the Oscars for unintentionally producing one of the memes of the year because there is absolutely zero shot they could organically come up with something that entertaining by themselves. Big thank you as always to all of my supporters on Patreon, especially Avishua Stein, Dorian, and Storm who helped to make these videos possible. If you'd like to see more content like this, please be sure to subscribe so I can use internet numbers as a means of happiness. If you see a moment that you think would make for a good breakdown, feel free to tweet at me at TurndownForWalt or come chat in our community Discord. Thanks again for watching, and happy April Fool's Day. Fortnite.